Hey guys, uh, Rock here um, in uh, Island Pond, Vermont. It's July 5th. Uh, I just picked up this 2017 Arctic Cat Wildcat Trail uh, XT. Um, this thing is loaded. It's got a ton of extras on it that uh, somebody had installed between the front and rear bumpers, the fold up windshield, the extra LED lights, the rack, the roof. Uh, it's got a three inch lift kit on it. It's uh, full, full aluminum doors with the matching uh, decals. This is a real sharp looking machine. I, I really like the looks of this thing. Um, these uh, Arctic Cat trails come with the Fox shocks. So they uh, should ride pretty good. Uh, rock sliders. Brand new tires this year. This has got the 700cc parallel twin. Um, uh, I guess it's a Kimco engine actually. Um, but uh, yeah, so as you can see, this thing is loaded. It's got the nice Articat uh, roll bars or extra rear bars on the back. It's got the cargo box. Um, fender flares because uh, these are extra they don't come on this machine uh, when you buy it so that's all extra stuff and it's got mirrors and PRP uh, four point harness loaded this thing is clean uh, it's got 2,000 miles on it but uh, you wouldn't know it from looking at it it's really clean sharp looking rig uh, we're gonna give it a try here in a minute and uh i'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it and you can uh, kind of see how it goes all right let's hop in this thing all right hop in oh. so one thing i do notice about this and i guess a lot of the new side by sides are getting that way you sit very low into the vehicle um uh, I don't know I own a Polaris Razor sits up a little bit um, I'm more of a fan of that but some people might prefer this but uh, anyways yeah so hop in everything feels pretty good it is the seat is all the way adjusted back it doesn't have a quick adjust on it but if you pull the seat out you can loosen the Torx bit uh, screws underneath and slide the seat forward or backwards this is all the way back and to be honest I'm a little cramped I'm not I'm not even six foot so you know it's for a taller guy you're gonna be really cramped up in this thing um, my knee is very <laughs> bent quite a bit as far as the the gas and the brake that's not bad just feel like my left leg is a little cramped but uh, other than that it's a key switch right here turn on you can hear the fuel pump you start it just like a vehicle uh, parallel twin so it's got kind of a whiny engine and it likes to uh, it likes to scream it's a <laughs> it's a pretty uh, high revving engine anyways so this gauge is actually real nice. You can kind of put things where you want. Uh, you got, I, I have it set up so your speed, miles per hour is at the top. You can change that to uh, your clock. Or I guess that's about it up there, clock or um, your speed. And then your middle button will control this, which is the total odometer, 2,043 miles. Uh, you got two trips. Uh, engine hours 142 hours on this one and then you can have your time set there also um, and then your third one is down here I like to keep it on the coolant temperature but you can check your voltage uh, that uh, your machines putting out about 14 volts which is good intake air temp tachometer which is also nice to have and then your fuel gauge of course um, I wish you could have a few more things on here like if it had a 
fuel gauge on there all the time that would be nice but you can switch everything back and forth so it's nice I, like I said I like to keep the temp there um, you get your lights these are factory lights high and low beam and then your tool drive full wheel drive with differential lock these are extras the LED light bars that people somebody put on I also got a your winch controller down here and your override for in reverse if you want full power you hold the override button down and then you can have full power in reverse transmission park all the way ahead bring it back a couple to get into high range and that's it uh, this windshield is really nice it's not real warm today but if it was you could flop that thing right up I really like that feature um, this is an aftermarket windshield of course or you can keep it just open a little bit but, uh, yeah so that's a real nice feature but yeah let's uh take this thing for a ride so as you can tell it is a, it's kind of a very loud engine um, and you get a lot you get a lot of noise inside the cab here But uh, this has got the electronic power steering, so it steers very nicely, very easy. You hit bumps and stuff, you don't, it doesn't jerk your arm all around, which is uh, helpful. <laughs> so this is the 50 inch trail version. So you can fit pretty much anywhere you can go with a four-wheeler um, obviously you got a little bit you're longer the length and stuff so um, throw this thing in low range because you're gonna have a little trouble getting up this <clears throat> put it in four-wheel drive if we need to we can lock the differential lock this is you go down like that and that'll lock it in but you do have uh, your steering wheel is very hard to turn that way even though the power steering um, so I prefer to keep it in just four-wheel drive until I need to use the differential lock. Yeah, this is pretty nice. We can fit right in between. Yeah, we do need to, to lock it in all four-wheel because one's just hanging up. Uh, but right there, the bigger uh, 60 and 64-inch wouldn't be able to fit in between them rocks. You'd have to straddle it, and most likely you'd end up hitting bottom. Um, on the corner of your uh, cab which I've done plenty of times on with my other machine so this is nice now however uh, like back there <laughs> it's it's a little on the tippier side especially with the three inch lift that they installed on this so you got to be mindful of that that it's not going to be as stable as some of those bigger machines but uh, this is low range I mean it goes you can putt right along with it and it's got it really does have good torque to get onto it spin the tires I think it winds out around 7600 rpms or so get on the trail put it back in high range does put off quite a bit of heat inside here so if you're gonna put a full windshield on one of these I would recommend this thing because even just that makes the world of a difference you get a you get quite a bit of uh, breeze coming in through there and it uh, it cools this cap right down and then I mean on the real hot days you can lift this thing up and that's nice too For a trail rig this is actually got it's it's uh rides real nice um so i own a 2016 polaris razor turbo that is a 64 inch that is a very big machine and uh i mean that has that has the Fox shocks, a lot more adjustability on that one, but uh, 
that ride's amazing. Now on a slow going like this, when you're going 10 to 20 miles an hour, this trail will actually ride better than that bigger machine. Even on the, I got it close to the softest setting on that thing. And uh, this is, this ride's smoother because it's set up a little softer. But uh, you start going fast, really pushing that suspension, that is where that other machine will shine. And this one, not so much. <laughs> but, uh, but if you buy this 50 inch trail rig, you're probably gonna be doing a lot of the smaller trails. And uh, I mean, it really excels at that kind of stuff. This is only a 700 cc engine, uh, parallel twin, but they're pushing quite a few horsepower out of this, I think. I don't know. They, they claim between 60 to maybe 65 horsepower out of this 700, which is very impressive. Seems how my old Razor 800, that was a parallel twin, but that was definitely an old style motor. It, uh, it didn't have the overhead cams. Um, had to push rod design with the cam on the bottom. Now I'm pretty sure that was only around 50, 54, 55 horsepower. And that was an 800. These are very similar sounding en engines. This is, this doesn't have as, I don't know. It's not as throaty as the Razor 800. It's more of a, I don't know. I don't know how to, I mean, you guys can hear it, but uh, it's a little different. But uh, the power is impressive in this thing. When I get back home, I'll go ahead and do a kind of a top speed run. I've heard that these would go about 70 miles an hour. That is stock. Um, when you, If you don't have the windshields on, the back window, all the weight, you know, with the bumpers and the winch. This has got a 4,500 pound winch. So that's gonna slow it down significantly. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. I'm gonna guess it should be able to get to 60. My old Razor 800 could do 60 miles an hour, but that was it. It was uh, topped out then. I think that was a speed limiter on it or rev limiter, one or the other. This little thing is impressive. Uh, it's got six ply tires on it right now that were put on this year. And uh, I'm only running maybe seven pounds of air pressure in them. It, uh, it just, I don't know, to me, they're rated, I mean, I think you can put 25, 30 pounds in them, but you run them that hard, you got such a hard ride, and uh, I don't know, it just, just it, 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 when you get them softer, set at seven PSI, they kind of conform to all the all the obstacles in the trail. You get better traction. You probably don't get as good fuel mileage, but uh, that's fine with me. As far as the uh, storage on this thing, you get a little little like net here with a decent sized glove box. But I wish they would have put a you know a, an actual cover that you could close and maybe be watertight. Um, I mean, it's easy to access your stuff if you got gloves or anything like that, but I wish they had a watertight, well, they do up front, but it's just not easy to get to in here. You gotta pull, pull this panel off, which is easy, except with this windshield. <laughs> this windshield now is blocking my ability to pull this front panel off where there's uh, a little toolbox where you can put your spare belt and your tools and all that. I mean, it's not bad to take off. It's just these uh, little uh, knobs here you take off and uh, unscrew them. But it's just one extra thing you got to do. So this motor does run pretty hot. They got it set to run, uh, I don't know, I'm seeing like 200 degrees a lot right now. It's like 188. The fan just kicked off. But, I mean, that seems to be where it likes to run. So...
probably uh, turn around here and head back and uh, that way we can get our top speed run in can't do it on these trails but. Uh, let's uh, throw it in low range we'll see what what she can do in low range actually because a good low range you'll be able to do you know trail speeds but to save on your belt However, this thing does have 2,000 miles, original bell, original clutches, and uh, it all looks brand new still. So we're running uh, about 5,800 RPMs, 20 miles an hour. So not too bad. You definitely wouldn't want to run this thing 40 miles an hour in low range, <laughs> like some of the Polaris is claiming. No, we're doing almost 7,029. So it's not bad. But uh, I prefer to run high range, so we're really not screaming the engine. This windshield seems to do some flopping around when you have it fully open like that, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. It doesn't close on you, so it works out nice. Got these uh, little hydraulic pistons. This is a, it's a fun, fun little machine. It really is. Most of the trails you do not need. I mean, that Razor Turbo has ridiculous horsepower. I think it came. It's an older one, it's a 16. I think it came with 144 horse. And then I put a stage one kit in it, so it's pushing almost like 170 or so. But uh, really, you don't really need that kind of horsepower. This, for the trails, is plenty. And these machines weren't that bad new. I, I want to say, you could get the base model for around 11 grand this xt model for 12 12 5 maybe so the price was very competitive with polaris and uh, still right now as far as resale this thing because of all the extras and everything on it i went down and i i counted all the extras up this does have six or uh, just about six thousand dollars worth of accessories so, uh, I mean, this is for sale. I'm gonna sell it, and uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm asking ten five, ten thousand five hundred. I think that's a very fair price for this. It runs great. It's got a ton of accessories, and uh, it's in excellent shape. It's always been maintained well. Even pushing this thing at in a 2530 through these trails, it really it does ride nice. This is way ahead of that Razor 800 I had. That one had the EPS also, the power steering, so it turned good. But it was it was a lot shorter wheelbase. I think this is 10 10 inches longer or so. And, uh, I mean, that, that machine did not ride like this. Very impressed. The only, my complaint, I guess, on this, maybe with all the, the windshield and the roof and all that stuff off, it's not so loud in this cab, but it is, right now with all this stuff in here, it's, it's pretty loud um, if you're not wearing helmets it uh, you know it's I don't know it's almost irritating <laughs> after you know hours of driving this thing but if you're wearing a helmet it's not bad I 
I think it's actually a little quieter with this window uh, wind, windshield flipped up. Not sure why, but that's how I feel. Um, yeah, so we'll go we'll head back the way we came, get up to my house, do that top speed run, see if we can get 60 out of it. If I would have started with this machine and I didn't buy that Razor 800, yeah, I might not have ever upgraded to anything bigger. The extra power is nice, but like I said, this is more than more than you can use actually on most of the trails. does have good acceleration and you know what when I first hopped in this I said I was cramped it is a little cramped but when you're driving it you don't notice it I mean it actually secures you in here with that foothold it kind of locks you into place and uh, you know, I don't really notice how cramped it is. It's nice. Passenger seems like you have a little more room over there. Probably because you don't have the gas pedal or the brake. Did notice that. Uh, so, Articat, this Articat, anyways, the Wildcat Trails and the Sports do not have an actual engine braking. This will hold you back fairly good. Say you go down this hill, it'll kind of keep it around 2000 RPMs to keep that clutch engaged. But if you go real slow, I mean, you drop way down, it will just freewheel. Um, it does not have an actual engine braking. And uh, for the trail machines, I, I, I don't know. I really like the engine brake and it saves a lot on your brakes. Um, but uh, so I'm not sure why why they didn't have one of them. All you know, most Polaris's and stuff, they all just have a one-way bearing and a clutch, and that uh, that's what slows you down. But they didn't do that with this. So see this? I mean, some machines I'd throw in low range to go up there. This is a, it's geared low enough where you don't need to. So it's pretty nice. All right, so come over here. We'll get out to the road and we'll see what we can do. miles an hour right there still climbing slight incline up here so I have to slow down here I'll turn around and I'll see if I can get that top speed on the way back be able to get 60 out of it there's no way <laughs> I just see what we did there's no way I'm gonna get to 70 but we'll go ahead and try this thing see it really does have good acceleration all the way to 40 miles I mean it keeps climbing so right 
right there, 50. Slight downhill slope now. Sixty miles an hour right there and I can see my windshields are all flopping around pretty hard <laughs> so, so that is about uh, it's about as fast as I'd want to go with this thing anyways because they are a lot narrower these trails but uh, come to a stop put it in park as far as the passenger um, you don't have the T-handle like the Polaris's. You got a arm grab here and one here. So seats are real comfortable, a little firm, but uh, in the long run, the firm seats after a long, uh, long day, they seem to uh, seem to hurt a little less. You don't kind of sink into them. So telescoping uh, steering. That's nice. You can put it pretty, yeah, just about everywhere you want. There's no notches, so that's a nice feature. That, uh, idles around 1250, 1300. So that is it. There's a fan. I'll let that uh, cool off and shut her down. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I got uh, plenty more machines uh, that I've test drove and reviewed and uh, just check out my channel and thanks for watching.